I think the, the scale of the story that we have this guy. I mean, in South Africa, he was as dead and as famous as Jimi Hendrix. I mean, he uh -huh. was one of the most famous artists ever. And in America, he was living as a construction worker and not knowing about this fame for 28 years. I know. It's an unbelievable story. So it's it's really like a Cinderella, you know, but it's better than Cinderella because it has a better soundtrack. This album was released in 1970 and the, the producers were at the same time working with Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder. Going down the dirty inner city side road, I plotted. They said that, that all the albums we ever did, this was the true masterpiece. But the albums, the two albums, and they both face the same destiny. They don't sell anything. I mean, like less than 50 copies. I mean, it's, it's the it's a great, great, great flop. Yeah. And Rodriguez stops and starts to work in construction. And like really After hard manual bags, labor in Detroit and never bag, learns that one of those bag. albums gets to South Africa and in South Africa he literally becomes more famous no than the Rolling Stones. And now he sees the news but the pictures not The quality play. of the songs, where the songs were heard, it also happened in Australia. He now is considered stop, on that same, like the pantheon of rock gods up there with Dylan. Beatles, Rolling Stones, and Rodriguez. He's up there. And, and then the thing is that it makes this story very different to any other story is that those South African fans, they want to know about him because he is, you know, they all know about Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and Elvis, but this guy, they don't know anything. So they start to look for clues. Uh, who is this guy? And on the records, he's not written his real name or where he comes from. So they start to decipher the lyrics and in the end, they find Detroit as a possible place where he's from. Uh -huh. And they found the producer of the album after 28 years, they found him. And they ask him, you know, where was the album made? Well, it was made in Detroit. And who, who made the album? Well, it was me and another guy. Uh -huh. And the most important thing, the, the thing we all wonder here in South Africa is how did he die? Because yes. that's the story, what, what the South Africans has heard at this point. Everyone knows he's dead, just like, you know, it's as famous and as dead as Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, legendary kind of death, Legend too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the story is that he shot himself dead on stage, but there is another story that he burnt himself dead on stage, or even that he OD'd. I mean, there are different stories. W w which one is the true one? So that's why they make this phone call. And and this producer said, what do you mean? Yeah, how did he die? They said that he shot himself dead on stage. How did, how did he die? How did Rodriguez die? And the producer replies, Rodriguez lives down the street. I, I saw him this morning. So they call him and they tell him you're bigger than Elvis and he kind of hangs up the phone because it's, uh, they think it's, it's a joke. Yeah. He thinks it's a, it's, a, it's a crank call. And they call him again and say, you need to come here. Did you make cold fact? Yeah, I did make cold fact. Yeah, in South Africa, that's as famous as, as Abbey Road. And, and, and then he comes and this, this is the, where the b most beautiful part of this film comes starts where, where Rodriguez comes to South Africa. He never performed anywhere in his place, anywhere in, in his life. And at the airport, he's greeted by limousines, paparazzis, <laughs> security guards. And he kind of walks around the limousine. He thinks he's for some president or someone. So the security guards grabs him and pulls him in the car.